Hey folks, Deborah Nekovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And today we're talking about the Oregon State University permaculture template, specifically for the permaculture design certificate. And we're looking at assignment 12, water site flow gross calculations. So gross calculations is a way of getting into your water calculations. It's a easy uh, easing in, let's say it's an easing into our calculations, trying not to bring up old memories of math teachers, just very simple. And all we're doing is we're taking the area of the site, be it feet squared, so length by width, or meter squared, length by width, so either working in imperial or metric, and then the average rainfall in feet or millimeters, and then working the calculations that are on the right hand side. So if you're in imperial, you'll go feet squared by feet squared times 7.48, which for eight, which can converts it into gallons, which will give you your total gallonage. Uh, unless you're working in metric, it's very simple. It's just meters squared plus uh, times millimeters equals liters. So that's all I did on this slide. All I did was bring in my slide, pardon me, my images from my climate survey. So I brought in my chart and then my numbers. I grabbed my precipitation at 418.8 and then went back up and found my uh, high, what was the high that had happened. And when we say a hundred year, 24 hour rain event, we're just saying what was the highest recorded rain event to give us a sense. And then we've got our potential total leaders that falls on our site. So I have 245,416.80 leaders that falls on my site. And if there's ever another same day event that happened in, I think it was 1927, uh, according to the data, it would be 56,321 and 80 leaders. And that's it for gross site calculations.